created our land, Hawaii Ponoi, to be our life, as well as to be the source of our living. We, the Ohana and family of Windward Community College, the Ohana Pi Ananui no, the universe of Hawaii, have gathered here at this sacred place of Ke Aahala no, because we have a very sacred thing to do and as to pono ourselves with this aina here at Kea'aha to be the kum and the foundation for our library learning comments. Uh, I feel like uh, I haven't had to do any of the heavy lifting, uh, but uh, I'm delighted to uh, lead the party. I want to thank my predecessors, including our former chancellor, who's here today, Angela Mikesell, uh, along with uh, uh, my faculty, my staff, my students, uh, and uh, we uh, are almost there. Uh, we uh, are at the point where the uh, construction will begin. Truly a representation of the 21st century uh, university that the state of Hawaii deserves. You know, this is about, I can't believe today, you know, it's about the long run it's about five years ago that we started working on this project. And I just want to thank all the people that she didn't mention. Uh, the former uh, Vice President of Community College, Joyce Sonora. Uh, we had uh, Michael Kasami, who always kept us informed what's the status of the CIP project. Uh, I just want to mention, I wrote some names here. Uh, Nancy Hugh, a librarian, and Libby Young, who really uh, spearheaded out of the enthusiasm she came up with a petition and had about four or five thousand names. And they came to my office and they said they would give this to the governor to get the money released. And lo and behold, a few weeks later, the money was released. So thanks to the efforts uh, uh, that happened. I also want to, uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> Groundbreaking is a great beginning and a thankful conclusion for many years of planning for the new building that will bring together a group of services to students, faculty, and staff that have long been located in separate make do facilities. As the years passed, advances in technology have brought about many changes in the plans so that now the new building will quite different from the one we envisioned in the early years. Those early years were really an adventure for me. The first two years I was both librarian and media specialist, so there was lots to do. In the old facility we started with only two thirds of the building. The other third was a typing classroom. We scrounged boards and bricks for shelves and a few reference books on them. The windows of the building had hinges that were rusted in the open position. So in came the rain and the wind, and they brought on the mold and the mildew. After a few years, media production moved to its own building, and we expanded our space into the entire building as it is now. We went through adding air conditioning and dehumidifying, carpeted the floors, replaced the leaking roof with a new one, converted the card catalog to an online catalog, made room for additional storage components, and changed automation systems several times. Through it all, 
as the staff and materials collection grew and we produced library instruction units for all English 100 students, the vision of a new facility was always with us. But that's all in the past and now we are entering a new era. The new building will have the right kinds of spaces for the many types of services to be offered. And it will be a green building with all the good things that designation implies. Now the format in which information is stored has changed and will con continue to change over the years. The library as a place where those formats, whether in the pages of a book or in various kinds of electronic devices and are organized and made available to all library users will also continue to change. It's a real challenge to provide a place for those materials and also a place for study and thinking and absorbing knowledge. Just a word about the Hawaiian name for the building, Laakea. The meaning of Laakea is so appropriate for a, for a library as well as the other services in the building. It is the sacred light of enlightenment and knowledge. Knowledge brings enlightenment. And that is what a library stands for, isn't it? And now I want to say thank you to Nancy Hugh and to all the others who carried on the huge task of developing our hopes and dreams into a tangible reality. It will be a beautiful building. Let's all of us here today come again to celebrate when the new building actually opens. Aloha no. Now I'd like to ask uh, our new leader, uh, a new generation of leaders here, uh, president of the Windward Community College uh -huh. Student Government, Casey Blue Jutt. Today marks a historical moment for us because this new library will not only be a great learning point, but it will also help the students achieve their academic goals. And that's all I have. <laughs> Thank you for inviting us over here today. 
and we look forward to working, continue working with uh, the university and Windward and uh, start working with the general contractor and transform this fantastic vision that we've all created here uh, into a facility that will serve um, future generations for a long, long time. Thank you. literally unknows us as it gives us breath and what we are about today is to ask of this Aina here at Ke'a'ahala to Hanau Kahale La'akea the library learning commons no Windward Community College. A kai kia ku e ya no ke ya aina. Ke ya aina ka haavi mai no mako no mamua ame ke ia ke ia manawa no. Ke hana no kako no apau. No ka pono kako no apau. A ka no ke ia manawa e kia kua. Ke no no ia oe komo iu kau u hane balele. Ke ho ko mai ka i mai no ke ia aina. No ka mea ole hele mai no na pili kia ame ka ino no. Ke ia aina i loko o ka kūkulu ana no o ka hale la akea. Ke ia no ke ia poe no ka kuli ana. No ke ia aina me ke ia hale la akea no e kia kua. Ke no no i o e ke ho ko mai ka i mai. No la ko no a kau. A ka e kia kua e ia no na hau mana no ke ia kula. No hau mana Hawaii no ke ia kula. A ka e kia kua e ho ko mai ka i mai no ke ia aina e ko no no. No ko ma ho hau mana. Thank <laughs> you. 